Hey mamas, welcome to another episode. I am so excited that you are here. And today we're gonna talk about honoring the limits. You know, I think as moms, we think that we can like bend the space time continuum <laughs> and we can just create more hours out of nowhere. And honestly, I think that's why so many mamas are so exhausted. So I want to talk to you about an exercise that I have people do really early in bookkeeper training school. Um, but I just think it's so valuable. I swear it's like the most commented on topic that we have in the entire course. Um, it's not actually part of the main course. It's actually a bonus um, that comes with it. But I think that it is just a critical piece you know, before you start talking about adding anything in your life, and I know with the new year coming, like that's something that we all kind of do. We're like, oh, I'm going to add this and I'm going to add that. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do that. And it's going to be awesome. This exercise is a really, really good thing to do. Okay. So um, you can do this in Excel. You can do this on a piece of paper. You can do this however you want to do this, um, but you have to write it down. Okay. That's critically important. Um, it does require some you know, some addition. Um, so that's why like, I love, I love doing it in Excel or you can use a Google spreadsheet um, to do it, but you know, you need something where you can write everything down. Okay. So when I do this process, um, the first, what you're going to do, let me, let me give you an overview. So this is what you're going to do. Um, you are going to figure out where you want to spend your time, not where you currently spend your time, but where you want to spend your time. Um, and this exercise, like I said, has been really eye-opening for um, a lot of moms because when they write down everything that they want to do and they assign time to it, they blow out the number of hours in a week. Okay. So, um, there are 168 hours in a week. That's all you got. Okay. So I want you to write the top 168 hours. And then what I want you to do is I want you to list through, um, you know, it doesn't have to be in areas, you know, in, in priority order. Um, but the things that you want to do during the week. And now the first thing, the first thing you put on the list should be sleep. Okay. And so write down sleep. And if you get eight hours of sleep, um, every single night, which remember doctors recommend, you know, scientists recommend that you should be getting seven to nine hours of sleep every single day. Um, because honestly, guys, I think, you know, and, and I've done episodes, um, of my previous podcast and we'll link some of those in the show notes for this episode at smallbizmama.com. I think the reason that we have so much trouble with Alzheimer's and dementia um, and other neurological disorders is because we're not getting enough sleep. Sleep is when your brain heals itself. It's when it flushes all the toxins out. And if we don't get enough sleep, um, it's just really, really detrimental for our health. And I, like, I see that. Um, it's actually interesting because, so I, I have a Fitbit that I wear every day and I wear it to sleep. And if I'm starting to feel um, run down or sick or cloudy or whatever, the first thing I do is I look back and I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't, like for me, I need to get about seven and a half hours of sleep every night or I just don't, I don't function well. Um, and I have to say like a lot of that is like kudos to my husband um, who will often take morning duty with my son um, and we, we, we switch off, um, but he will often do that for me, which is, which is really awesome. Um, you know, and it also is like going to bed, you know, going to bed early. Right. So, um, just, I think that's, that's super, super important. Okay. So you're gonna put sleep. Okay. And if you sleep, all right, we're going to do a little bit of mathing. Um, if you sleep, let's say eight hours a day, um, seven days a week, that's 56 hours off, gone. So almost a third of your time is gone, right? Um, actually, it's a third of your time is gone. And so, um, cause there's 24 hours in a day in eight hours. See, mathing, <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> it's funny. So I'm, I'm recording this. Um, I'm recording this on a Monday morning. And so like my brain is just, you know, not quite at the desk yet. Bear with me. So, um, so 56 hours, a third of your time gone. Okay. So now what else do you have to do during the day? Well, you need time to get ready, right? You need time to eat. Um, you need time. Now, here's the thing. There's going to be times where you're kind of multitasking. And so what I try to do is I try to focus on what's the priority thing I'm working on. So in my schedule, um, I have a lot of like Eric time. Okay. Um, and that is, you know, that's time where, you know, Eric and I, like Eric's my primary focus and we might be cleaning up together. We might be homeschooling together. We might be doing whatever we're doing, but that's Eric time. Right. Um, and so, so Eric time is kind of a, a big block of my, of my day. Um, now sometimes I can get other things done during Eric time. Okay. But I've got to be cognizant that that is the primary thing I'm doing during that time. Okay. Um, so, you know, so there might be like time with your kids or time for homeschooling or whatever that is. Um, you need time to, um, hopefully get some, get some exercise, get some physical activity in, cause that's critically important to your health. Um, and then what I want you to do is I just want you to go through and I want you to assign, you know, assign time to those things. And, you know, for right now, like, don't be cognizant of the total, just put in what you want to be able to do or what you think you should be able to do. That's typically what most moms do. Um, most moms are, okay, so I work 40 hours a week, but then I'm commuting, um, you know, or I'm not really working 40 hours a week. I think I am, but I'm really working like 60 hours a week. Um, you know, I know with, you know, with COVID, I know sometimes it seems like we're never, you know, we're never leaving the office ever. Um, and so, but I just, I want you to put all these things down. Remember, give yourself some time to like wind down because you can't go, you know, you can't go from 150 miles an hour to sleep. Okay. That doesn't work. Um, so I kind of have some relaxed wind down time every night. Um, where I kind of go through my bedtime routine, you know, you wash your face, you comb your hair, you brush your teeth, um, you know, you do all the things and then you, you know, wind down and go to sleep. But so, um, the reason that this is such an interesting exercise to do is because it makes you think about honoring the limits, um, and I was, I was listening to a podcast episode this morning um, on what's essential with Greg McEwen. And we'll put the link in the show notes as well for that. But, um, and he's, you know, in the podcast, said you have to honor the limits, right? We all have, we all have physical limits. You know, there's limits in the amount of time we have. Um, we have emotional limits. We have, uh, like mental limits. And the problem is as moms, like we think we can just keep pushing ahead through everything. Um, and yeah, you can probably do that short term, but eventually you're just going to burn out. And I know that right now there are a tremendous number of moms who are burnt out. Um, I told Jeff in September, I said, we've got to watch the moms um, because there's so much on, there's so much on our plates right now. Um, and it, it just is getting, it's getting worse and it's getting deeper and it's getting harder. And at some point, you have to say, okay, like I can't do all this anymore. I have hit the limit and I've hit the limit for too long. Um, Cause the problem is, you know, if you're riding at your limit, right? That's still too much. You really need to have some margin between, you know, going at 150 miles an hour and, and, and stop, right? There, there's gotta be, you can't go at full speed all the time. You just can't, it's not good for you. 
Um, and so I, I really like this exercise because it makes you think about the, it makes you think about the limit. It makes you think about, okay, I'm trying to shove, like we literally had a woman who reached out to me in bookkeeper training school. And she said, I'm trying to cram 250 hours a week into 168. And, and now I understand why I'm so tired. Um, because until she put it down on paper and she really looked at it, she didn't realize why she was so stressed out all the time and why she felt so, so anxious all the time. And so that's why I, I, I think that this exercise is absolutely critical, um, for most of you right now. And that's why, you know, this is, like I said, this is something that is a bonus for people who buy bookkeeper training school, but I think that it's something that is just so critically important right now. Okay. Um, I think it's something that, that moms need to do to put a little bit of realism back in our lives. You know what I'm saying? Um, so again, so what you're going to do, okay, let's recap this real quick. Um, you can do this on a piece of paper. You can do it in Excel. Excel, like I said, is easier because it'll do the totals for you. Um, so you're going to do, you're going to write down everything that you have to get done in a week. Okay. Including the things that we get to do like sleep, like enjoy, you know, like play with our kids. Um, you know, like, and, and that kind of thing, like I just put under like family time, like that's family time. Um, or I have Eric time in my schedule. Um, you know, put in, put in all the things that are, that are really, you know, that are critical and you put down things you want to do too. And we'll see if, you know, let's hopefully we can fit some of that stuff in. Um, and then assign a time, how much time you're going to spend on that for the week. Okay. Don't forget things like eating, that's important, um, or meal prep, right? Um, or grocery shopping. I mean, it's funny because like as moms, like we forget like all these things that we actually do. And what you might need to do when you're doing this exercise is you might need to actually track what you're doing for a little bit, um, or at least write things down. Like at the end of the day, it's like, what did I do today? Right, and just kind of write it down um, so that you can put, put that in there. Assign a time right? For how much time you're going to spend on that each week, where that is your primary focus. Um, and then add it up and see where you are. I'd love to know what your total number of hours is when you first start this exercise. Um, cause I always think that that's, you know, the first time I did this, um, we came up with this exercise, I think it was about five years ago for a membership that we had, um, called small biz HQ. And, uh, and again, like the, the moms had the same reaction or the women that were in the group had the, had the same reaction. Like, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> how can I get this all done? Um, because it forces you to make trade-offs. It forces you to decide, okay, this is what's really important to me and to start making the, the tough choices. Because I'll tell you, there are so many things that I want to do, um, but, you know, I can do anything, but I can't do everything. And so I've got to make choices for, for what I want to do. And right now, you know, my, my two biggest things are, um, are basically Ingram Digital Media, right? And all the things that go with that. And then, um, you know, health and family. So I guess it's three things. Um, but you know, that the business that we have going, right? This business that's Small Biz Mama and, you know, Bookkeeper Training School and Empower Bookkeeper Network, um, that's so important to me in investing in all that. And then, you know, my family is incredibly important. But in order for me to be able to support those two things, my health has to be part of the equation. 
because if I'm not sleeping, if I'm not eating right, if I'm not exercising, if I'm not doing all of those things, then the rest of it can't happen. And so I sit there and say, okay, so how do I, how do I get those things in those things that I think are essential, um, in order to be able to do the other things that are critically important. And it, I'll tell you, it's hard and it's a constant, it's a constant battle. And that's why when, when you get your list done, okay. So when you've done this and you get it down to 168 hours, I need you to post this somewhere where you're going to see it all the time because you're going to need a reminder. Um, you know, one of the reasons that I love the full for the full focus planner so much, and I'll put a link in the, in the show notes for this. Um, I do have an affiliate with them. So if you click on our link, um, we just get a little bit of money back, which I actually reinvest back into my planners. Um, but the, the thing that I really love about this planner is that it makes me sit down every single week and say, okay, what are the things that are important to me? What are the routines that are important? Um, what are the, the goals I have that are important? And it makes me review them every single week so that I make sure that I'm getting them done. Right. So I, I can see that I'm moving in that direction um, because if we don't look at that again, our schedule is just going to go back to, to normal. It's kind of like, you know, it's the same thing with budgeting. If you're not like sitting and looking at your budget on a regular basis, um, your money's just kind of going to go wherever it decides to go. Um, you know, if you're not sitting there thinking about your health and being conscious of the steps that you're taking, then eventually you're going to revert back to old habits. Um, and so I just think, you know, take, I think this exercise is probably going to take you maybe 15 or 20 minutes to do. Um, and then it might take some time to kind of process through it and say, okay, um, wow, like what, you know, what have I been doing? Um, and so you might want to, you might want to try to give yourself like an hour to do this, maybe after like the kids go to bed or wake up early one morning and do this. But it's, it's one of those things that uh, is really eye-opening. And so I hope you'll do it. If you have any questions, reach, reach out to us. Um, you can email support at Small Biz Mama. You can comment on the post on the, the website. You can join our group, um, Small Biz Mama group on Facebook. Um, but come, you know, come for help, come for engagement, come for community. Um, and let us know how we can help you. Because I know right now this is a really hard time for moms. Um, I was reading something the other day. The UN has come out with a report that said that, you know, equality for women has really been pushed back during the virus because, you know, again, those old habits, right? well, the, you know, the women are going to have to stay home. The women are going to have to quit their jobs. The women are just going to have to make this work, um, you know, because schools are closed and, and you know, families need us. And, you know, it, it falls back on, on the women to, to make everything work, right? And that puts a tremendous amount of stress on you. And, and I get it, trust, trust, trust me, trust me, I get it, I'm there with you. <laughs> um, this has been a really hard season. And I think for me, one of the hardest things is seeing, seeing so much hurt out there, seeing so many people having trouble, um, not only, you know, in my family and my friend groups, but just the wider, um, you know, wider community and not being able to fix it, right? Not being able to jump in and, and make things better or help out the way that we normally would um, before the virus. 
And so that just, like, I'm a fixer. And I know a lot of, a lot of you are the same way. Um, and that's been really hard. That has been really, really difficult for me. But, you know, I know one thing that I can do um, is I can, I can put out this show and I can help get you to think about things that will help you get through this time so we can all get through it together. Um, and so that's, that's one little piece that I can do. Um, and so one little piece that, that you can do to start is do this, this time exercise that I talked about just so that you can, you can get a base for, for what you can do and really for the things that you have to, to put aside right now. Um, because there is just too much on all of our plates. So I hope you find this helpful. I hope that you'll do this exercise and that it will bring you some clarity um, because it's just, it's, it's critically important that we all stick together and we all get through this well. So mamas, thank you so much for listening. Please, please, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Love you all. Thank you for listening to Small Biz Mama with Kristen Ingram. If you'd like to learn how to create more margin in your life, please visit us at smallbizmama.com. That's smallbizmama.com.